Hey there, what abouters? <laughs> I know, it's hard. We don't know what to call you guys. So we had luncheons. Uh, yeah. Technically, you could still be our luncheons. Yeah, we're this meeting over lunch still on the Thursday. Same time. But we need a name for you guys. We're kind of fans of the what abouters. It sounds really fun. Um, but if you have a better name for us, please let us know because we yeah. would our like to be able to follow you something. Our faithful followers and wannabes or yeah. newbies or whatever you are. Anyways, yes, so our What Abouters, we welcome you to this week's segment of What About? Yay, here we are, another week. Last week, we introduced you to the different locations around <laughs> church. We went on quite the field trip. We did. So hopefully this week when you're in church, you can be like, hey, there's the nave, or I'm going to run back to the sacristy and help set up altar guild and all that other Check out the stuff. vestry. Check out the vestry. Although, make sure you knock on the door first if yes. pastor's in there. Anyways, so yes, last week we talked about locations. This week, we're going to talk about the seasons in the church here. Yeah, not those seasons. <laughs> not the, not season the ones you're used to that happen in a day in Wisconsin. <laughs> uh, not winter, summer, spring, mm -hmm. and fall. But we are talking about six different seasons that we celebrate here in the church year. Yeah, and being the wild and crazy Lutherans we are, <laughs> the seasons of the church year don't exactly match up with our calendar seasons. Not at all. So our church year calendar actually starts at the end of November, early December, depending on how things fall. And it starts off with the very first season, which is Advent. Yeah, so here we have the different sections, and we are going to talk a little bit more about them today. Each, as you can tell, each um, season is marked by a color, mm -hmm. which we will get into next week when we talk about pyramids. But this week, we wanted to just give you a rundown of each of the different um, seasons that we celebrate here in church and the two halves, I guess, yeah. that you kind of break them up into. Yeah, so like we said, it starts off with the season of Advent. Mm -hmm. It starts at the end of November, goes throughout December. You guys are very familiar with Advent <laughs> um, because we have the special worship services on, Sun on Wednesday nights. Um, and we just use that as a time to prepare for Jesus's birth. Yes. And then following Advent, we have the season of Christmas, which we actually get to celebrate the birth of our Savior. Um, that's the whole reason that we have Christmas mm -hmm. is to celebrate the birth of Jesus who came into this world to save us. Yeah. And then immediately after that, we go into the season of Epiphany, where we talk about the wise men coming to visit Jesus. Mm -hmm. We also talk about Jesus growing up, what it was like for Jesus as a kid. Then we skip into the season of Lent, which kicks off with Ash Wednesday. And Lent is a serious time of the church year. All the alleluias leave, all the joyous celebrations. Um, it's a time for us to focus on ourselves, on our sins, and all that led to Jesus ultimately dying for us. Yeah, and then after that really dark period where things are a little more subdued, a little quieter, um, we get into the most joyous parts of the church yes. year, the season we're in right now, Easter. So on Easter Sunday, all those alleluias come back out. We celebrate the resurrection of our Savior. And then in the time following that, which is what we're currently mm -hmm. in now, we talk about some of the things, the times that Jesus appeared to his disciples um, and how he is preparing them for his return into heaven. Then we get into the longest mm -hmm. season of the church year. But before we do that, we see that the church year is broken into two halves. So what we just described to you, Advent through the time of Easter, we talk about what God does for us. So obviously he sent Jesus to save us. He was born. Um, Jesus died, rose again for us. Now we enter the season of the church year in which we see God working through us in the world and that kicks off on the day of pentecost when we receive the holy spirit um on the day of pentecost when the flames appeared on the disciples so that everybody could understand the bible in their own language um that kicks off the season of pentecost and that runs all the way through the beginning of the next new church year, which happens in November. There's a couple other high church festivals in there too that we'll take a closer look at, but that's the main idea of the seasons of the church year. 
Yeah, and so just like our calendar helps us to divide up our year to kind of mark some time, the church year calendar is structured the same. It's to help us focus on the different things within the Bible and what Jesus has done for us, but then also to turn our focus on what we can do in the world. So that they too can know all the wonderful things and experience all the wonderful blessings that we get to on a daily basis. So we hope that you will join us next week as we take a closer look at the pyramids so that when you step into church, you can kind of know what's going on with the banner or the pyramid, altar pyramid, the banner, and then ultimately what's on the pulpit and all those other fun things that you will see here at church. Yes. So with that, we hope that you are good, great, and wonderful. We'll see you next time.